हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एक्सप्लोर फिजिक्स लेस एक्सप्लोर इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द सीरीज एंड पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन एंड डिराइव द फॉर्मूले टू फाइंड द नेट रेजिस्टेंस इन सीरीज एंड पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द सेम फॉर्मूले टू फाइंड द नेट रेजिस्टेंस सो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ फ्यू न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन सीरीज कनेक्शन फर्स्ट सो दिस साइड यू कैन सी द न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू solve the numerical problems before we start doing the numerical problem or start solving the numerical problems remember that in series connection i remains the same so if we have n number of resistors so in all the n resistors the current will be the same only the potential will vary so this is the key rule when you solve the numerical problems you always remember that i goes the same amount in all the resistors so let's start the class so the very first question is you'll see them a battery of 9 volt is connected in series with resistors of 0.2 ohm 0.3 ohm 0.4 0.5 and 12 ohm respectively how much current would flow through 12 ohm resistor so first what all they have given we'll write it so the volt is the potential difference is given as 9 volt series with resistors r1 is given as 0.2 ohm r2 is given as 0.3 ohm R three is given as zero point four ohm, and R five is given as twelve ohm. Zero point two, zero point three, zero point four, zero point five. Sorry, zero point five is there. So I have three. Sorry, R four is zero point five ohm, and R five is twelve. ohm so r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 0.2 0.3 0.4 0.5 and 12 ohm how much current would flow through 12 ohm resistor been given the v you have been given the r so we'll find r s the r s means when they are in series is given they are in, they are connected in series so it will be the sum of r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 plus R five so equals to zero point two plus zero point three plus zero point four plus zero point five plus twelve so is equal to two three the so five and four nine and five fourteen so it will be one point four plus twelve which is equal to therefore R S will be equal to twelve plus one thirteen point four Ohm. So we found the net resistance when they all are connected in series. When all the five given resistors are connected in series, so the net resistance is equal to thirteen point four ohms. That is one part of the question. How much current would flow through twelve ohm resistor? So we have V as this. We have R as this. We'll find I. I is equal to V by R. V was given nine, R is thirteen point four, so it will be equal to nine upon thirteen point four, zero point six seven ampere. So the current flowing in the circuit when they these five connect uh, resistors are connected in series will be equal to the current will be equal to zero point six seven ohm, six seven m uh, ampere. what will be the current flow through 12 ohm resistors because in series we know that the current will be the same so the same amount of current that is 0.67 or uh, ampere only will be flowing through 12 ohm resistor whether it is 0.2 0.3 0.4 0.5 and 12 in all the resistors the current will be the same and what is the amount that is 0.67 amperes so that is the first question Now we'll go to the second question. I hope it's clear to you 
we have only used the formula to find the net resistance when the resistors are connected in series that will be equal to sum total of all the resistance in the circuit. So this is the sum total which comes out to be 13.4. So we know we already we had been given the V, we found the R, so I is equal to V by R. So that is how we got 0.67 amperes which is same for all the resistors connected in series. Clear? So very important to remember that I remains the same, only V varies. R will be always given to you. So now we'll go to the next question. Again, you can see it here in the other side of the board and see what does it say. So the second question asks, are resistors of, uh, resistance of 6 ohm is connected in series with another resistance of 4 ohms. A potential difference of 20 volt is applied across the combination. Calculate the current through the circuit and potential difference across the 6 ohm resistance. So we will write what all is given to us. A resistance of 6 ohms. So R1 is given to you as 6 ohms is connected in series with another resistance R2 with 4 ohms, a potential difference of 20 volts. So, V is given to you as 20 volts is applied across the combination. Calculate the current through the circuit. So, you have to find I and potential difference across the 6 ohm resistor. So, and V for 6 ohm, I am writing like that. You have to find this as well. So, we have already discussed because they are in series. So, the net resistance will be equal to R1 plus R2 that is 6 plus 4 that is 10 ohm. So, we know Rs which is equal to 10 ohms. We have to find I. V is equal to IR ohms law. Simple formula. From here, I is equal to V by R. V is given to you as 20. R you found 10. So, is equal to 2 ampere. So, we found the current uh, from here. Sorry, we found the current I equals to 2 ampere. Now, you have to find V across 6 ohm resistor. Because V will be different. So, what we are going, but I will be the same. I, the same 2 amperes will go to 6 ohm resistor and will flow to 4 ohm resistor as well. So, what will be the V? We have to find the V. So, V is equal to I R. I we already reduced to R across 6 ohm we have to find into 6. So, it will be equal to 6 into 2, 12 volts. So, V will be equal to 12 volts. Always, always remember to put the unit for whatever your physical quantity you are finding. Very important, if you don't write the unit children, you are going to lose the marks. Try to write in this manner because it's easy for you to understand also what is given and what is not given to you. And always remember to write the unit at the end because that also will carry the marks. So two numericals we have taken based on series. We will be solving the numerical based on parallel circuit and then combination of series and parallel connections. That's all for the day. Stay safe, stay healthy and a very big thank you to you all. Bye-bye.